I'm going to explain the physics of this demonstration, which has been widely shared on social media, where you have a horizontal straw and a vertical straw going into and out of a water bottle. And when you move the vertical straw above the level of the horizontal straw, then the water flows out. Let's start by considering this simpler case where there's no lid on the water bottle and as soon as you move your finger from the horizontal straw, the water flows out. The pressure here trying to push the water out is a combination of the atmospheric pressure pushing down but also the pressure from this weight of water which is also trying to push the water out. Whereas over here we only have atmospheric pressure pushing this way trying to stop the water coming out and so the water flows in this direction because the pressure is greater here than it is here. Back to the original demonstration and watch what happens when you first remove your finger. A little bit of water flows out and that's crucial to understanding what's going on. Before you remove your finger this trapped air here at the top of the bottle is at atmospheric pressure. Watch carefully what happens to the water level here and on the zoomed in view when I remove my finger as I repeatedly play that little bit of the video. Hopefully you can see that the water level goes down slightly which means the volume of trapped air at the top of the water bottle has increased and that will reduce the pressure of that trapped air. We now have an equilibrium where the pressure created by the trapped air plus the pressure created by all this water here is exactly balanced by the atmospheric pressure here and therefore no water flows out. But why doesn't any air get in through this vertical straw and come in and increase the pressure up here which would then force the water out through the side? Well if we think down here as well as all the pressure created from the trapped air and this water here we've got some additional pressure created by this water here so the pressure here is going to be bigger and we just said that the pressure here was equal to atmospheric pressure so the pressure here is going to be larger than atmospheric pressure and therefore no air will be able to flow in. So remember that the pressure here is equal to atmospheric pressure so if we move the straw a tiny bit above that point then the pressure is less than atmospheric pressure and therefore atmospheric pressure can push in air which then increases the pressure here which in turn increases the pressure here to be greater than atmospheric pressure and pushes water out of the horizontal straw. To get this to work well you need an airtight seal here and at the top. Here you can use glue to make a nice airtight seal. At the top I used Vaseline to give it a good seal. This really is a beautiful demonstration. 